I get some currency playing to this shit. I'm trying to keep the ASMR for y'all. Welcome back, of course. I'm trying to get some currency playing this shit, man. So I ain't in the fucking zone. And the track at the moment. Yo, Sweet P was goody, man. Appreciate that, yo. Been gone for a minute. Had an unexpected passing. You know I mean, things happen. We gotta move on, yo. Niggas gonna be thinking they gonna lose their best friend and shit. That's how you see your dad and all that. It's your best friend too, yo. Yep, I'm human too. Shit took a nigga out the game. No, I'm a pressure watch this shit too. Think I'm fucking playing. All over the place in this joint, man. Get my tip in advance.
Wait till y'all see what that sporty's heavy D to to this floor, yo. I'm just getting it ready. Think I ain't gonna pressure wash this shit? You out your fucking mind? Of course I am. That's why a lot of people ain't good, man. They're like doing every single fucking step. Of course I brought a mop. Yo, copper wire is a fact. But watch this. I'm gonna hit it with the Sporty's Heavy D. This shit gonna curl up. I'm gonna rinse this shit out. Ain't no way I can make this worse. What I look like, be telling people, a lot of people to do this by hand, and they just do it by hand. 
Like they lost their goddamn mind. Water? Are we going to add that to the, to the equation? I'm just trying to clean some things up so we can make less of a mess. But a mess I'm going to make. It's a fact, nigga. A mess I'm going to motherfucking make, yo. That's why I love it when shit mad dirty like this. It can only get better. Shit. Man, let me get this shit out. So I get ready to pressure wash this shit.
this heavy D. This shit gonna solve problems, yo. I'm hitting everything. The motherfucking walls gonna melt in this shit. Everything gonna melt. You gonna think the motherfucking... Man, y'all gonna think the damn truck on mushrooms, y'all.
Just smell like sand. Cooking. Just smell like cooking. out.
disinfectant, not bleach. Some good smelling shit. The truck will be just fine, man.
Yo, Reese, what's goody, man? Yo, appreciate you, bro. Ashen was good, man. Sweet Pete, what up? Ashen, what up? This jaw, man. Yeah, man. That's all mine. The last truck driver got fired. I'm taking whatever's left. Tell a nigga just holla.
so much I don't even want a tip. I'm going to leave me some money to tip. I'm going to take it. But the tip was already in the price. Really shit. That's another tip. When you're dealing with companies, don't get no deal. Mm. Companies don't want no deal. They want to get charged a lot. Take a fall of taxes. Charge them a lot. Are they gonna find somebody that's going to charge them a lot? Y'all yeah, might have been a bar. Charge them a lot. Are they gonna find somebody that's going to charge them a lot? Gimbal right now. Yeah, we like that. We had like ten dollars right now. Things looking better. However long we've been live, that's, what, since 4 o'clock? It's only 5 o'clock an hour? Yeah. I'm always going to be making more than $100 an hour. You fucking must be bugging. Yo, get good at your craft after a while. Yeah, get good at your craft after a while. The side effect of being so good at something... It's fucking money, whether you like it or not. If you're good at some shit, motherfuckers gonna throw you money. All you gotta do is be good at some shit, man. Shit gonna have a side effect. But see how much my man making? I can't let y'all see this, but uh, oh yeah, he should have kept his job. Yeah, you should've kept your job, doggy. You're doing all right, doggy. I'm in a little bit above the poverty line, but you all right, daddy? Oh yeah, not, not Diddy was just saying that. Niggas up north been saying, damn, you was all right, daddy? But not the way he's saying it, no Diddy. If y'all wanna know how much I'm charged, like always, look at the website, yo. Matter of fact, the interior is 375. But if you watch the video, we found mold. You know, Sporty's likes finding mold and all that other shit. Instant 125 upcharge. Now 375 for the interior automatically goes to 500. Of course, he wants the outside regular wash. That's 75. We have 575. Um, I'ma chill. Because that's all I needed was to get some mold. It's already trifling. So you already get hit with the messy upcharge. I mean, it's a business. They want me to tax them. So you're going to get hit with the 375 interior. 125 because I found mold. Um, yeah, 75 for the wash. We have 575 and I bet you this shit don't take me five hours. I'm going to make more than $100 an hour because I, I, I'm, I'm good at my fucking craft. A lot of y'all feel the same fucking way. $100 an hour minimum. Shit, I might finish this. Man, it's only been an hour. I done got this thing butt naked. All I got to do is turn on the steamer. And yeah, people, I'm using the Harbor Freight because the brother... 
The people that work with me got to get my good equipment. I can't be walking around. I ain't supposed to be working. It's a Sunday. Of course, I'm going to take this job because this ain't work, yo. I'm, I'm, I mean, I, of course, I'm going to take this fucking job, man. I mean, what can I say, man? If I got to put the fucking camera on me, man. I mean, hold up. Yo. I'm not supposed to be at work. It's Sunday. A lot of people ain't working on Sunday. But, um, that's cool. I ain't got no problem. Am I lighting good? Let me give you this lighting. Yeah. It's like a fucking scary movie. But I should have it on the motherfucking shit I'm doing. But, um, yeah. But I see I got this shit on, man. I mean, the body on and all that. I mean, this ain't work. But I'm not supposed to be working. It's a Sunday. But, um... I ain't gonna leave 600 on the table, y'all. Know what I mean? Like I said, I gotta give the workers, I gotta give them the best equipment, my skills, my everything, because I'm not supposed to work. I'm supposed to be sitting down working on y'all websites. Y'all need websites, holla at me. Supposed to be working on people's websites. Um, at the same time, I'm supposed to be sitting the fuck down, y'all. Making more money with my mind and my body. But something like this, on a Sunday, I figured, I'm not leaving 600 on the table. And this ain't work. This really ain't work. And um, yeah, my, my guys gotta get the best equipment, yo. I mean, I wanna be on the football field, but no, you'll be better as a coach, Jeff. I gotta listen to the people, man. I wanna be in the game. But every now and then on a Sunday, I can play some flag football like I'm doing right now. But I gotta sit my ass down, man. And let other people as hungry as me work sun up to sundown. I mean, that's going to make me happy. Because they work sun up to sundown, and I provided that, they're getting paid, man. That's a good thing, yo. This ain't work, yo. This is something to do on a Sunday, yo. This is like a workout and shit. But I should be prepping somebody to be able to do this type job. But it's still a Sunday. I be trying to, I be doing my best not to take the jobs. I just be wanting an excuse to just, shit, I don't know. It's like fucking going to the weight room, yo. This ain't work, people. I'm talking. It's only been an hour since the live came on. I'm going to have this shit finished in three hours. And that's talking about the outside, too. I'm going to knock the outside out. Because it's basic. I'm not about to detail the fucking truck, people. I'm gonna wash it. We just trying to get it ready for the next motherfucker. First impression is everything. We just trying to get the truck ready for the next dude. And I ain't got no problem doing that, yo. For the right price? Yeah. And for the right price? Yeah. I got you, daddy. For the right price? We gonna get this shit clean, boy. I'm hit the floor with some more, uh, this thing was trashed. I'm hit the floor with some more Heavy D. Because I could go straight to the steam, but I ain't got the cheap steamer, people. Who I can just hold the trigger all day like I got a 100-gallon tank. Nah, we're going to let the chemicals do the work. And then we're going to kick in with the equipment. Oh, looks like that's about to die, but don't worry. You know I got the, I got the batteries, dog. Oh. It is a Bauer, but what do I got on there? A Milwaukee. I done did enough videos in the past, man. It's a Bauer. But it's a Milwaukee battery on there. This thing lasted a whole hour on a little tiny starter. Look at this, just starter kit. Starter kit Milwaukee battery, yo. Let me turn this shit down, actually. Should have had it on low anyways. But anyways, I mean, y'all, my Milwaukee batteries can go on my Bowers. My Milwaukee batteries can go on my Makitas. My Makita batteries can go on everything fucking too. Already gave y'all the tips on that shit, man. I should be dropping the uh, RV video. But thanks to Jay. Y'all can tell her thank you. Um, 
When I drop the videos, I'm gonna have sign up links. For the serious people that wanna take it further, you watch the video on the RVs and all that, cause ain't nobody dropping no fucking RV videos. Cause heads are still scared. They're not facing their fears. So they just wanna leave me with all the fucking money. No problem. I take it. Of course, I'm training my guys to get on that shit, but you need years when it comes to RVs. But still, like I was saying, ain't no goddamn videos. Cause people are scared. People think they're going to do some shit and it's going to be the banging ass job the first one. No, you're going to have to fuck up a bunch of RVs and boats like I did at first and just face your fucking fears. But um, until then, I'm the dude with the RV skills and all that. I'm going to brag all day about that because nobody else trying to do that shit. I'm fucking scared as hell. But yo, Jay, because of Jay, a lot of the videos and information I'm going to do is going to have a link sending you to my landing page that's on my website that's going to help you get more serious um more importantly get your information one-on-one -on -one, see what you're trying to get niggas don't know how to like price them they don't know understand the length of the all that man a lot of people need more than just a video yo a lot of people need more than just a video and um now, now it's gonna go from the video to the landing page to me getting your information we connecting one-on-one -on -one, and you can thank miss J for that appreciate you baby it's good looking out, man. But yeah, the videos, I mean, it's just come a time, man. You gotta, you can't just keep doing the same thing. I mean, shit. I get bored fast, I gotta level up. For some people, they wanna get better at their detailing skills, I can't get no fucking better. But one thing I am scared of is sitting still, sitting down, and sitting in front of this computer, that's my fear. Sitting the fuck still. But I'm facing my fucking fear. Yeah, I got plenty of time. I ain't no rush, man. It's a quick 600. Light work. So I can sit still and talk to y'all, man. Because shit, what am I rushing for? I just got a habit. I got to get shit done. I'm glad. It, only because I'm going live, I'm I'm sitting still right now. But uh, other than that, man, y'all know me, man. I'm fucking talking to y'all, vacuuming at the same time and shit, man. I don't, man, I like working, yo. I mean, shit, man. Yo, you right, sweet P? I mean... Even though you don't see nobody doing it, I bet you we all know that's where the fucking bag at, though. We all know that's where the fucking bag at. Not no maintenance wash every two weeks, once a month. No. You get one boat, one RV, you are now introduced to a whole club. A club of people who aren't regular employees. They got money, yo. They gonna break bread. They got toys. That means they don't need to have this shit. So whatever they want done, it's going to cost a lot. Because it's not a necessity. It's a fucking toy, RV, boat, whatever. It's a fucking toy, people. They know everything that it gets done to it. It's going to be a bag. But they got that covered. That's why they got it. People's RVs and their boats cost more than some of our houses, yo. We know that shit. A lot of people's boats and RVs, yo, that shit costs more than people's houses, man. And then the layout on the inside, the wood grain floors, and I mean the, the wood floors, the vinyl flooring, man, man, so many people got bamboo floors and John Elway furniture up in their shit. Motherfucking, we all know that, but we all know that's where the money at, yo. And why we don't run in that direction? I don't know, because it's easier to do a fucking car. We all got to understand, man, when you get all the equipment you need for a boat or RV or whatever, that job's going to pay for the next four or five, whatever, yo. You're going to be in the game. You got your buffer. You got your high speed. You got your compounds, your polishes, your RV, all that shit, your RV, boat, gel coat, 
all that compound and shit. You got all that. And you ain't ever gonna get it again. Just like when you do in the cars, you got all the equipment you need. But let's be honest, to do a boat in the RV, take way less equipment than what you need to do a car, yo. And a lot of y'all scared to wean off the cars. I mean, it's gonna come a day, yo. My stupid ass taking classes and shit. Gotta learn how to run a staff. I mean, shit, yo. I had to get forced to do this. A lot of people, I ain't realize they starting a business and this is the direction they want to go in. I ain't had that shit all in my mind. I'm just trying to go sun up to sun down. And then guess what happened? I got fucking bored. I can only work so many hours, but guess what? I still want more money. What that mean? I got to get people. I got to run a staff. I got to watch what the fuck I say. I got to coddle people. The new generation is younger. Shit, these motherfuckers might quit if you don't tell them good morning, yo. I'm like, ain't you supposed to be worried about the money and getting to the bag? Why the fuck does it matter if I tell you good morning? But you know what? It, yo, you know what? I got to go along and get along, man. It's my business. I ain't got time for all that shit. I mean, if I got to coddle these motherfuckers, then I got to coddle them. You know what I mean? As long as they got the skills to do a good job that I taught them, man, fuck it, man. Coddle the hell out of them. Good morning. How you doing? You got four or five cars in a thousand dollar day. I don't want to mess that up for you. You know, your dumb ass should only be thinking about the thousand dollar day. Worried about what the fuck's coming out of my mouth. Shit. Everything should be a joke. Like, yo, sir, can I get on in my thousand dollar day? True. Because I need to let you get on your day so I can get my 30 and get that 300 out of you. You know, my little 30%. I still like that hundo percent, but my 30 percent, man, now I got to get 10. Oh, you want to make what you was making when you was working sun up to sundown all day, nigga? Having your little thousand dollar, fifteen hundred dollar, two thousand dollar days? Well, guess what? You know you can make more and triple that sitting down. I mean, I'm hard headed. I got to understand you. I got to sit down because all the little shit I'm doing, it makes sense. Like I said, I'm taking classes and shit. They made it make sense on the first day. All this little micromanaging I'm doing is a bunch of $20 an hour, weak-ass jobs. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to make sure this is good. That's a $20 an hour job. You're not making no difference doing that shit. Over here is systems management, incentives. Women like Jay, that going to do a lot of shit for you that uh, it ain't a $20 an hour job. And... um. Yeah, you're going to need to uh, sit the fuck down and let people who who good at what they do, do what they do. I mean, I'm good at doing the cars, but now I got to just do what I do good and teach people to be good at doing the cars. I mean, because I'm trying to get back to what I had. I mean, I can make 2000 on my own, but a $2,000 day, I'm only getting 30% of that. That's only 600 yo. Meaning I need to get everybody that fuck with me $1,000 days. More people, more cars, higher prices, and this shit gonna work out, yo. Because you can't be thinking like no fucking individual, people. I mean, I make good money. Like, nigga, I'm... Man, you already know. I've been talking that six-figure shit years ago. Years ago. It ain't fucking difficult, people. And yes, up north, we only working nine months. Strong. But you got your, you got your December gift cards. Black Friday gift cards. This shit make up for you working on a hot day. I mean, on a hot month. You might think cold weather in December, but gift cards, Christmas cards, Black Friday, motherfuckers doing them last minute deals, and you ain't doing no work. You copping a bunch of gift cards and people still ain't using them. They still wait for the April showers to be over and that real summer to kick in. And then they gonna kick in and spend that money from spring. You know what I mean? I, I mean, a lot of y'all was already on this. Me, I'm realizing, yeah, yeah, I'm just getting smart as hell as I sit down, y'all. Sitting down, getting smart as hell, making more money with my mind than my motherfucking body. You know what I mean? Like I say, better late than never, y'all. Better late than never, man. You know I mean, because some people never fucking learn. And that's hard-headed. But at least me, I mean, I'm going to eventually get it. I'm going I'm to get it. You either get down or lay down. I mean, I, like I said, I'm sitting down here talking. I'm going to tell you all why I've been gone for a while. And I mean, I'm being more consistent now. You know what I mean? I just, 
Man, it ain't easy being consistent. You got shit on your mind, but that ain't no excuse. You're a fucking boss. Now, I mean, the business had to keep going, but as far as the content and shit that I felt like I didn't need to do, now, I mean, it all dropped. It was all fucked up. My dad was lying. I mean, that's my nigga, man. Man, he been he been through. He done beat what prostate cancer, done beat lung cancer, and then uh, I don't know, man. I think it was the chemo that fucked him up. Cause he bounced back after the chemo like no other, but he like me, man. He can't sit still. Got to keep moving and shit. And then, uh, yeah, man. And he too, he too strong to be like, yo, son, come see me, man. I'm about to drop dead, son. He ain't gonna do that shit. He just like, I'm good, man. Like, yo, everything cool. But God damn, man, I did not expect the motherfucker to die, yo. That shit, man. Like, damn, man. A lot of niggas get a way longer time. I'm sitting here trying to get my shit right. That motherfucker going to die on a nigga and shit. Yeah, that's why I've been out the game, though, yo. Yeah, that shit, yeah, I've been out the game for a minute. I just dropped that shit all together, yo. It don't feel like that long, but I dropped it in November. I just fell off in November. A whole bunch of thinking. Catching up with him, asking him all the questions I could ever ask him. Getting a whole lot of answers. I should have been guy, yo. But shit, still asked him, yo. Got a lot of answers. That shit was good, man. So, I, I mean, yeah, it's that simple, yo. Shit. My dumb ass be thinking I'm built like a fort. But, yeah, that shit ain't work like that, yo. It's always, it's always some shit that you meet your fucking match. Don't be no physical fight. Might be some shit that ain't even touch you, yo. Motherfucking tear you the fuck up. I gotta put some shit on this fucking floor, yo. We just trying to loosen up the floor now, yo. We ain't. I mean, the hardest part is over, yo. I mean, a lot of shit is loosened up. I'm just trying to spritz it with the, obviously, the heavy D. We're just going to make this shit melt, curl up. But I ain't busting out the steam yet. I ain't, I ain't doing all that shit, man. Yeah, man, but appreciate everybody still being in the building. My dumb ass should have been camming up, going live and all that. Shit, that'd help me get through this shit better if I was doing that shit, but... I mean, motherfucker shit happens, man. I just thought I was indestructible and shit, yo. And some unexpected shit, like, god damn, nigga. Motherfucking real-life Thanos pop in and motherfucking... Motherfucking snap his fingers. It's like, yo, what the fuck just happened? Damn, nigga, could have gave me a warning or some shit. I mean, wouldn't that be great life? Knowing what's coming before it happened. Man, where they do that shit at, right? You know I me, mean? shit good. I'm back. Like most things you go through in life, motherfucking ass can't do it on your own. 
regardless what the fuck you think. Yeah, I give a shout out to Jay. Good looking out, Jay. You know what I mean? Shit. Motherfuckers be going through shit. Need somebody to tap you on your shoulder like, nigga, you good? Nope. Actually, nope. I mean, shit. I ain't gonna say it, but if a nigga asks, like, actually, I don't know how to explain it, but nope. I ain't. Probably because I'm getting fucking older, yo. Get a motherfucking shit. Still got a brick wall, but that shit got cracks in it, man. Strong foundation, still strong foundation. Ain't perfect, but you can still build houses and shit on it, but I mean shit, shit ain't perfect. Still all bricks, but hey, brick ain't gonna be perfect. But yeah, yo, you know what I mean? I'm back. I mean, more importantly, consistency is back. But I got, I mean, that's, that's uh, what do you say? Uh, don't talk about it, be about it, because this is only the first fucking time. I got <laughs> got to do some consistent shit first, but yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Just got to do it, man. It works if you work it. Change, yo, depending on your equipment, you gotta break shit down in layers. Can't strong on everything. Shit, what the fuck I'm rushing for, nigga? Shit, I finished this shit and what? I gotta finish it by 7 o'clock for it to be 3 hours. But I'm talking to y'all, I'm fucking chilling, man. I mean, shit, as long as I'm making 100 an hour or more. This shit was trash. This shit looking way better. I mean, salute to the heavy D. And I ain't talking about uh, the rapper either. I'm over here with the double entendres. Shoot! Sure. Boy, nice. Yeah. Boy, nice with it, man. So there's a lot of things going on, man. But just like everybody else, yo. Pff. Man, if you detailing, man, life is good right now, yo. Appreciate y'all, man. But things have changed. Like I said, yo, I can actually offer y'all jobs in y'all own state. 
which is why I need to sit down and do more podcasts, stop trying to keep shit to myself, because if you're a fucking winner and I tell you some shit, you're going to take it, you're going to fucking win. If not, you're just going to fucking take it, it's going to be good info, and uh, you're not going to fucking use it, but yeah, with that said, yo, I ain't, I'm, I'm giving out info, man. You know what I mean? Access to the intellectual properties, yo. I mean, ain't nothing changing shit. But that's what's happened, yo. In order to feed what I did by myself, I need to get people from everywhere working with me, for me. No matter the state. Other states, you already know I got four employees here. But other states, that's, that's where the money kicking at. Because you don't want to do so much. And I mean, it's a banging ass market share. All you're doing is fighting on Google and shit. But if you just solo dolo in the game by yourself and you're not hiring employees, I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, if you're content, that's cool. I ain't got no fucking issue with that. You make a certain amount, you probably married to something or whatever, you good. But if you're just a motherfucker that's hungry and competitive, you're going to have to fucking hire, yo. It, 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 you're going to have to let somebody do a job. You're going to have to get your first one-star review. And you're going to have to bust your ass to make it right. That's all. Shit going to go left. You just be on deck to make it right. I mean, everybody ain't going everybody ain't gonna to detail like me. But it's a lot of people who don't detail like me. Got way better customer service that work with me. And they get a five-star. I mean, they did an okay job. Great customer service, still five-star. I mean, shit. That lets me know, yo, where is it at? Customer service. Run any goddamn business you want. Just being a good-ass detailer. I, I mean, it's cool and all. I mean, good-ass detailer, car washer. I mean, at this age I'm at now, 43 for y'all. Um, Yeah, the customer service going to make, make way more bread than a good detailer, yo. You my stupid ass had to realize that shit, man. It's only get so good at detailing. Get good at customer service? God damn. You don't need to know nothing about detailing and get detailed jobs. Oh, but what's goody, man? Appreciate that, bro. Yeah, and I mean, with this, I can go live. I can take my time, knock out the vehicle. I ain't got 30 cars, sun up to sun down. I ain't got time to talk. I gotta get this motherfucking bread. I mean, shit. I still gotta get this bread, but it ain't physical, though. I ain't got nothing to fucking prove. I'm a banging ass fucking detailer. Know what I mean? But, like, okay, okay. Make another Sporties. I know the Jay Z verse. <laughs> Niggas with the old sporties. Okay, okay, make another sporties. And that's what I'm doing now, yo. I mean, people who wanna work, wanna wanna win, wanna get money, got their own van. I don't give a fuck what state you in. I'm doing websites, SEO, landing pages, all that shit I was scared of. I'm doing that shit now. Cause that's what my competition is doing. My competition don't detail, but they get jobs. All y'all know this shit. People ain't saying it online, but yo. That's what's going on. The competition is getting the jobs and they don't even fucking detail. And then they call your ass to go do the fucking detail. Who putting in more work? Who got to have a van? Insurance. What else? A van. Insurance. All that shit that costs money. And all they, they don't know nothing about fucking detailing. They know how to get a website, use uh, keywords, search words. SEO, all that shit, my, I was scared of that shit. I got a nice web page. Don't nobody give a fuck about your nice web page. You ain't got no fucking keywords, search words. You just got what you want on there. Ain't nobody going to click on your shit. But you going to find the fuck out. You going to find out. Nice page, by the way, though. You got a nice page, though. But motherfuckers ain't worried about your nice ass page. That shit ain't got nothing to do with SEO. So when you hop off your high horse, yeah, you gonna start, you gonna start functioning like a robot. Like, yo, all right, everything gotta have a fucking purpose, man. And none of this shit has to do with detailing. Yo, 
lot of this dirt just flew off, but wait. A lot of this stuff I'm spraying, I'm going to show y'all the door. I'm going to just get a wet rag, wipe it. You're going to be like, God damn. God damn. Yeah, the heavy D. Yeah, for the serious jobs. Because this would take the motherfucking... Man, this would take the... Man, this type shit. Like, if you didn't... The Lucha APC. Or if you had Sporty's APC. Because a lot of niggas get APC already diluted. But if you don't dilute your APC... It'd be like the heavy D. Heavy D's a heavy D greaser, yo. It's all the same thing, man. But if you don't dilute this shit... Man, it'd take the paint... The vinyl off the doors, the paint off the leather. But no, I mean, these, these trucks is built, they built, I don't want to say Ford Tough, but they built. So I already know I can spray a bunch of shit in here. And all that matters is the next guy can get in this motherfucker and go to the next load. Because if you do trucks, I don't even know why a lot of people won't be doing trucks. If you do truck loads, or I mean, track the trailers, yo, with some people that get flown in, come to the truck, they be like, yo, I'm not fucking driving this truck until you get it fucking cleaned. And I'd be pulling up laughing. They'd be like, yo, you cleaning? I'd be like, yeah. And I'd be cleaning. They'd be looking like, damn, good looking, because I told them I'm fucking, I ain't getting no loads until you clean this shit. And what that mean? Man, I'm going to pop you right upside your head with that price. You're going to be all right. This is the trucking industry. I don't give a fuck what I charge you. You're going to get that shit in the first 10 miles. I make this thing comfortable so you can get a driver in it. That's all you need. That's worth a lot of money because he's about to make you a lot of money. So pay me. Like I said, it's a business, man. They want you to charge them a whole lot. They're going to file it. It's a business. Tax they ass. And if you don't charge them a lot, they're going to find somebody that will charge them a lot. When you're dealing with businesses, I hope y'all knew that shit. Matter of fact, yo, Jay, put a poll up in the chat. I'm probably saying, I don't know if she's listening, but um, I was thinking uh, what percentage of people... I don't know, a poll like, I don't know what percentage of people actually, I don't know, got experience with uh, with, 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 with RVs, boats, tractor trailers. Everybody got shit, everybody good at the cars, y'all. But, I mean, people need to face their fears, y'all. It's a whole lot of money in this industry, yo. And a lot of the other things besides cars takes less equipment and make bang. I'm going to hit this floor one more time with the pressure washer. And then we're going to break out the steam and all that. I know it's hard to believe, but yeah, people, um, yo, your boy, your boy is still in the whip. I'm still in the whip. So all this steaming and all this shit and all this pressure washer, it's, it's coming from the whip, yo. So if I'm doing this shit out of a fucking Lexus LS 430, man, ain't no reason why motherfuckers can't get no bread, man. Oh, shit, I didn't even see that shit. Um, I don't remember what you said to the poll, but I would have to log in. All right, don't even worry about it, man.
Yeah, so by the time we hit this with some steam and like a little magic eraser and some steam, I mean, this shit gonna be, everything gonna wipe up, yo. That's the point. I ain't trying to scrub and do all that shit. Break this shit down in layers. I've been preaching that shit. Break this shit down in layers. So I do break out a rag and a steamer. Man, this shit literally gonna wipe off, yo. Damn, my bad. Yeah, a lot of this shit literally gonna wipe off. Glad I have. I'm gonna go get my motherfucking charger. But a lot of this shit gonna wipe off, yo. If you ain't got the tools and the big shit and the big, the big generator and all that. Yeah, you gotta um break it down in layers. So when I do get the cleaning, I swear a lot. This shit is just, a lot of this shit just gonna wipe off, yo. Like y'all should see the door, man. I mean, this thing, y'all know the door was fucking black. It's a driver's side door, but you know that, you know what that heavy deer do? It had just had his shit. Oh, you know what's even worse? Now y'all know, y'all know truckers driving wheels, trucker steering wheels, trucker steering wheels. That's grime. Look at that shit. Ooh, that shit come right. I'm telling you, yo, the heavy D got this heavy. That's heavy oils. Heavy oils. So when I steam, this shit gonna come right off. That's gonna come right clean. That's gonna come right clean. I mean, it's gonna be easy. A lot of this shit gonna wipe off. A lot of y'all like, damn, that's dirty as hell. Me, I'm just looking at money, yo. I'm like, ooh, this shit dirty, nigga. This is bread. I'm excited, nigga. So let me get this camera right, man, so y'all could, uh, so I'll do my last little pressure wash and then. Then we gonna turn on the steamers and all that, yo. Yo, your van just went down, so I'm looking for another one now. I'm trying to get it done out of the back of my Nissan Auto. My, yo, get it the fuck done. But if you get a whip, yo, I don't know if you're talking about a work van, but yo, everybody switching to that. I got heads switching to that Honda, yo. Do the specs, the payload, yo, that Honda Odyssey. Not no new one, because them shits ain't cheap. But we talking that 01 to 06 version. Or earlier. Yo, them shits is built to carry weight. The gas tank, amazing. It's a fucking Honda. That shit can fit a family of eight. Motherfucking rack on the top. Rack in the back. Beach toys, all that. Yo, that shit, the payload on them things is amazing, people. Why you call them people shit nasty? Cause it's shit nasty. This a company. This might be one of your fucking workers. With a nasty ass truck and you know ain't no other trucker getting in that motherfucker to get you no money until you get it clean. Sherelle fired the shit out of somebody. See that what they did to their truck. Sherelle fired the shit out of somebody. Look, this thing looking crazy. And, and you know they had a dog in here. Look at this shit, man. I'm fucking. Yo, truckers, yo. I mean, shit, Sherelle shit could probably look like this. You know, truckers, yo? Show me a trucker with a with a nice fucking man. What the fuck, man? Fucking shit. Shitty ass fucking freight liners, man. These fucking seats, man. Tearing up these trucks, man, but they, or these truckers, yo, they be getting like, they be getting like 20, 30 times what the truck is worth. That's why they push these motherfuckers. Oh, this ain't even, uh, uh, hold up, I had it fucked up. Yeah, Sherelle about to crack on me now, because, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, my dumb ass just, 
It's a fucking international. I don't think an international is a freightliner. So I'm looking stupid right now, but whatever. Whatever. I'll get it right after this shit. Jay will get it right. This is my dumb ass. Fucking international. I wasn't paying attention. Whatever. Yeah, because freight line is clean real easy. This is... I'm used to... Yo, if you go back and see the beginning of the video, plus... Shit, matter of fact, the thumbnail alone. Like I said, I've been working this shit so long. Um, Like a lot of y'all detailers gonna see, man. It's, it's the chemicals. Break this shit down and then bang. All this shit gonna wipe up. Worst part is gone. All that goddamn trash and shit. Matter of fact, I gotta charge everything. I gotta charge the gimbal, the phone. Go get the pressure wash up in here. Y'all give me a second. Enjoy the scenery. Yo, man, if y'all don't got one of these, y'all know the deal, man. I done told y'all before, yo. A lot of truckers will know about this shit, but it's Milwaukee, yo. You know what I mean? Got your USB ports. And you can charge, obviously. You know what I mean? Some big shit. And it's like... You know, I know what I'm doing with this shit, man. It's the big body joint, man. Should have charged your fucking laptop 30 times. Let me charge this phone. Let me plug in this gimbal. When I come back up in this motherfucker, um, yeah, we're gonna make a mess again. Spray a little more bleach. Yep, I ain't trying to do no hard work, man. Everything been hit so many times. Like I said, when I turn the steamer on, all I need is a wet fucking rag. I know these trucks, man. Once you hit them with some... They can take on a lot of, like, chemicals and shit. Bleach. Everything, yo. So when you cleaning it, man, shh, fuck all that safe shit. These motherfuckers, you better spray water in this motherfucker. All that, yo. You understand what some of these truckers be doing up in here, man? You think a little water gonna fuck this shit up? Man, you bugging. I ain't spraying buttons and all, but y'all saw what the heavy D you do. Once I get a wet rag over there, no, I know what to do. Once I get a wet rag over there, it's a wrap. All that shit's just gonna wipe the fuck off, man. All I gotta do is just, you know what I mean, get shit ready. You know what? Nah, because I was about to pressure wash the seats. I should, but I, I mean, I'll be going extra, extra. My goal right now is hit this shit with the mold when I get done. Throw the ozone generator up in here. 
This thing Dobby. I'm only like four minutes from my crib and shit. I'm in like the trucking district area. Well, industrial area, industrial park. But yeah, I mean, I could leave, come back to this thing. You know what I mean? Let the, let the ozone generator sit in here for 10 minutes, chill. Like, dude, pay the nice pretty penny. It's the company. I'm going to go all out. I ain't going to be like, oh, let me get my money and dip. Nah, I do a banging ass job. Get the ozone generator in here. I know a new trucker getting up in here. And so shit. Man, I'm always working like I want a motherfucking call back. Shit ain't never changed, man. I look dumb like I is, huh? Grateful for her. Oh, yeah, yeah, you must be talking about, yeah, Jay, obviously. Of course, you wish, nigga, 2024 Volvo. Nigga, you was just bragging about a Freightliner. Now you done went Volvo and shit. Fuck out of here. Motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
God damn right I'm fucking bugging. Who the driving? Who crazy? Who the driver?
I, I, I stay with them gloves, Steve, but sometimes I be trusting in my leather hands, man.
floor look good, good as hell, yo. That crazy, I ain't gonna use no motherfucking sting. Oops. My bad. Yeah, I was saying I ain't wear, I, I ain't even use no sting, man.
thing looking a lot better. And we still ain't used steam yet. Still ain't steam yet. It's only been what? Started at four, two o'clock? I mean, two hours? We had a nice pace.
Marky Rizzo, what up, man? What's good, boy?
But yeah, people, this thing looking way better. I'm about to give y'all a quick look. Cause I'm about to get busy. Probably take a little break of breathers. Like I said, I'm only four minutes around the corner. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have this video remade or whatever. Y'all gonna see what it really turned out like. It's only been about two and a half hours. I'm racing against the light. Kinda, sorta. Y'all know I turned this motherfucker into daylight, but uh, yeah, yo. I mean, y'all see how this door came? I ain't, I mean, I just started steaming. I mean, like I said, shit gonna be easy, yo, but I'm about to log out so I can get real busy. And I uh, appreciate everybody coming in. Hit that like. I'm gonna redo this video so y'all can see the ending and all that. Appreciate it. Go out there and get that fuck.